In today's video, we got an epic road trip for you. We got night markets, day markets, hotel tours. We got cave temples, seaside view. It's crazy because we're at the end of a three-day road trip from Bangkok to right here on Koh Samui. I'm pretty tired, so let me take you back to the beginning. Buckle your virtual seat belts and come on the ultimate Thailand road trip. Hello out there world, my name's Chris. I'm retired working for you. And we're now leaving Bangkok. Just driving by that famous building made famous by the Hangover movie. And we're going on a road trip. We're heading back to Koh Samui, but we're gonna take two days to get there. There's gonna be a lot of ground covered in this video, so let's giddy up. It's raining out here in Huai Han, but that doesn't stop the walks from frying. Whoa, look at the size of these. Giant, giant prawns. That's my hand. Look at that. The size of that prawn and look at the size of the lobster. Okay, it's really raining out here with me and the dried squids. So we've uh, thrown ourselves a curveball and we're gonna try and find a restaurant to eat in. And I've gotta get across the street without dying. Haven't done this one in a while. Look at us, we're a couple of drowned rats here, but we managed to get in and out of the rain to this place that's called Koti. And it's been here since 1932, listen to me talking like I know what I'm doing. This is only my <laughs> second night ever here. So people who know who I am, tell me, is this place supposed to be good? Let me just quickly show you what we got. We got some classics, a spicy beef salad. We have a, a pad pack bong of stir fried morning glory. We have a fried rice with chicken and a som tam. So we've come back to the market and it's time to reveal the special guest. She's under there ordering something up that she's been excited about coming back to Thailand. Life is brief, don't let that get you down. Don't let that get you down. It's all gonna go away soon, but there ain't no to you. Why are you so upset about it? Life is brief, don't let that get you down. Don't let that get you down. It's all gonna go away soon, but there ain't no to you. Why are you so upset about it? Seem lost, love drop, long days gone nights. Life pretty heavy. Hello Hello there, there. look Hi. at the special guest. Whoa, Those lights, lights are moves. flashing. That's because we're celebrating Anna's back in town. What do you get? I got the rolly ice cream that I missed a lot from Thailand. She might have missed the rolly ice cream, but we missed her. Can't hold on, let it go, let it fall into what it becomes. Put it on what you don't got, that's how you feel on but about when you get lost, it takes away from everything that you got. Like, you got it all in the palm of your hand. I think it's so going to be hot. Cause the man's in the world get you down. See, everything you got now mm. is all you need. Like, brief and hands, but that's all good with me. Life is brief. Don't let that get you down. So I've hit the fast forward button to the next morning. It's just about 7 a.m. Just went out for a walk to get my morning coffee. Bumped into this morning fresh market. Thought I'd share some scenes with you. Wish I could share some smells with you. There's someone over there grinding up coconut into a powder. Maybe the start of making fresh coconut milk. That smell is amazing aroma. The smell right around here, not so much. There's monks down the row there. People are giving them food. Monks are giving them blessings. It's a classic Thai scene and it goes to show that when you're over here, if you wake up like I do at 6.30, 7 in the morning and you can't get back to sleep, for a walk in your neighborhood. You never know what you're gonna find. Got my coffee and I'm gonna give you a little tip. There's no coffee shops open. I, I Googled a few and I was gonna come to a couple nice little artisan cafes, but there wasn't any. But I have discovered 
but the coffees at 7-Eleven are actually okay. They A lot of them have a little coffee bar inside. If they have that, you can feel comfortable getting your coffee at 7-Eleven. Now look at this. Pua Hin's a cool little city in the morning. And uh, I got to run back to my hotel. I want to give you a tour of the room and show you how much it costs because this whole video is about just immersing you in our uh, in our road trip from Bangkok to Samui. So let's go check out the hotel. Comfortable bed, which is important. That bed gets a solid nine out of 10. Got a desk area, nice TV and a day bed. Oh, look who's in it. Hello. <laughs> so this is located right in the center of Hua Hin. It was like a two minute walk from the market we were at. And here's a big tip for you. When we came to check in here, this place said 3,800 a night. And then we went online to Agoda and Booking.com. We got it for 1,900 a night. So if you're just kind of flying by the seat of your pants here in Thailand, ask them how much, but then just dip on one of those booking platforms and check the price yourself. Haley, we gotta run. All right. The train continues. Oh, <laughs> there's Anna. Hi. Ready to rock? Mm -hmm. Before we hit the highway, I wanted to let you know that we just stopped into this place for breakfast and I need help again. Anyone who knows Hua Hin, tell me, this place called Hua Hin 99, does it deserve to be in Teeny? I think it does. We just had an awesome breakfast in here. Anna had this massive breakfast wrap, delicious mango smoothie. I had a great latte and a 99 baht breakfast sandwich. So I think it's Teeny worthy. And if you don't know, Teeny is the app that I made with hundreds of my favorite spots all over Thailand. You can download it for Apple or Android. Turn it on for like two bucks a month and explore Thailand and all of my favorite spots. I hope you guys check it out. But in the comments below, any Hua Hin experts, is this place teeny worthy? Let me know. Now we gotta get back on the rainy road. This is kinda in the middle of nowhere. This is called Wat Ao Noi. And I'm standing bus beside a fish pond. You can get fish food. You throw it in there, you're gonna have all kinds of fish jumping and nibbling on that stuff. This is a beautiful little temple. We're in a town called Prachuap Kiri Khan. And just over there is another temple with a little cave of, I think, reclining Buddhas. Uh, maybe we'll go take a look at that. And then there's this epic coastline. And one of the cool things about this place is that it's in the narrowest strip as that, as Thailand, you know how it goes down like this. Well, we're only 10 kilometers from the border of Myanmar. We could drive to Myanmar in 10 minutes. I doubt they'd let us in, but we could drive there. There's definitely stairs to get there, but don't worry. I got this. Oh, as you get up the stairs though, it really starts to get beautiful. Check out that coastline. <sighs> Maybe there's a few too many stairs. I'm gonna go for another minute and then I'm giving up. <sighs> All right, I made it. I think there's something like 400 steps. The view's definitely worth it. And oh, check this out. You head down here into a dark abyss. Oh yeah, there it is. Wow, look at this. You walk through the first cave, you turn right, and then I don't know if you can see it, but there's a big reclining Buddha down there in this, he carved out of this cave. This, this is definitely worth the hike. Clear which project in here. Definitely leave a comment if you get a picture of yourself with this guy. What do you got there? Oh, I have a crab right here, a little baby one, so that doesn't pinch me. We've made it to stop number two. This is Hadwanacorn Beach, 
And I got to shout out one of my members because on the uh, WhatsApp group chat, you suggested to come down here and it's a really long, cool stretch of sand. Check this out. What you have up in the uh, pine trees that are beside the beach is an area where you can camp. Uh, they also rent cabins in here as part of the national park. 100 baht to get in here per adult, 50, ba 50 baht for a child. To anyone out there who has kids, you might know this feeling. Anna's been away at university for a year, and now we're back on a beach here. She's catching crabs, just like the old days, just like when she was that age. Going from that little girl's age to how old she is now, it feels like it went by like that. Having Anna back is the best. And she's just like a friend. We are tra traveling together and laughing together and shopping together. Very good. Perfect. left Hadwanacorn Beach and headed on down the highway and started to get hungry. And we started researching and everything that popped up said Kuntan. What is Kuntan? Well, it's a place where all the tour buses stop if you're driving between Bangkok and Chumpon. And apparently there's an amazing food court in there or food of all kinds. Let's go check it out and then you'll know where to stop when you're making this drive yourself. 100 baht, nung roy, okay. You get one of these cards at the counter where you enter. Let's see how far 100 baht goes. What do you get, Anna? I got um, beef noodles, and it's a little bit spicy, but it's good, I like it a lot. Chicken curry, oh boy, that's a giant chili. Ah, screw it. This is for you guys. You can watch me suffer. Look at the size of that chili. I'm going for it. That's zippy, but really nice. It's a southern curry. As we make our way south, the curry starts to change. I got fried egg and fish stew and chicken stir fry with a curry paste. It's a fish deep fried and then they stir fry on lime leaves and soy sauce. It's so much flavor. Mm. This place has over 4,100 Google reviews. It's quite the popular spot and I can see why. The food is fresh, it's good, it's cheap. But they got more than just food here. Look at this plethora of snacks. It just goes on and on and on for miles and miles. This is the place to stop if you're making this road trip. Okay, all important question, girls on a road trip. How are the washrooms here? They're really nice. Very They're good. Super clean. What do you think? It feels like a, it's like Venice in Italy. What do you think, Anna? You yeah, like it? I thought, I thought it looked like a Miyazaki movie, actually. So this is called the Cow Mad Sea Viewpoint. And if you're ever in the Chumpon area, this is a must see. It's up a very steep hill. Our little rental car struggled to get up, but as you can see, it's worth it. The views out this way, crazy beach views. We're perched on top of a headland on top of a big hill, so you get ridiculous 360 degree views. Check this out. It's nuts. There's actually a nice little cafe over on the other side where you could uh, pull up, grab a coffee. Then you walk around here and this just goes on and you can see the misty mountains off in the distance. It is kind of like a Miyazaki movie. I don't know if you've ever seen those movies. If you haven't, check them out. Castle in the Sky, these sorts of things. But you come up the stairs at the very end for the pinnacle of this. It's fantastic and mesmerizing. Look at I over. think we should put the drone up. Oh, we oh should. yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, definitely gonna put the drone up and then we'll find you a hotel. We'll, we'll find us a hotel.
starts by trading the shoes for the flip flops. Just loading up the car. Let me give you hotel tour number two. This is a place called the Magic House. This is a nice little boutique hotel. It's pretty small, there's not that many rooms. Out here now at the front, and you can see behind me, they got some uh, cool little bungalows. This is where it's located. This is Tung Makam Noi Beach. A lot of debris washed up this morning. Wouldn't say it's the nicest beach ever, but it's interesting considering where we're headed because out there, that's the high speed Lumpraya ferry. It goes to Koh Tao, it goes to Koh Pangan, and yeah, it could get us to Samui in an hour from here. We can't take that ferry though, because <clears throat> that ferry doesn't take cars. We have cars. So before we jump in our car, let me give you a quick room tour. We got one room here. We got another room there, they're connected. So this is the first room. Oh look, the unmade bed of a soon to not be teenager, teenager. But look at this, nice, simple, clean. It's gonna get echoey in here, but there's a shared washroom, nice, clean, good shower. And then coming out here to the other bedroom. This is where Haley and I slept. Check this out, it's got a sea view. 2,000 baht, which is, I don't know, 65 bucks. And that was for both rooms, they're interconnected, the family room, 2,000 baht. Night number two is done. We got the final leg of the journey ahead of us. We got some more road, then we got a ferry. But first, we gotta visit some friends. So this is the last stop here. Do you guys remember this guy? Hello. This is Dave Farmer. You guys are gonna get your own channel, the Farmer Brothers, man. You're like George Jefferson. There you go. Mark, the spin-off series. This is Davey's house. Where are we, Dave? In Surat, in a, in a secluded area with no one around, and that's all I can say. <laughs> Anna, what are you doing? Collecting. Collecting eggs <laughs> in the chicken coop. Yeah. This is Sue here. Say hi, Sue. Hi. <laughs> Oh, the chicken. there they are. They got a chicken oh. coop. How much yeah. land is here, Sue? It's 15 by both sides. Wow, yes. so a big wow. property. They got a durian farm. This is country living. I think I'll come back here and do a whole video about Dave and Sue for you guys. We're about an hour from the ferry and uh, this is our first time here, as yep. Dave would tell you. Yep, yep. It's been a long time coming, but at least you made it this time. We're gonna put you to work on the kettlebells next though. Got a little workout area. That's how Dave stays so trim and That's fit right. and strong. Some hoops. Fish and turtles over here and a couple of snakes oh. over there. Snakes? This is a nice freshly caught mangrove cat snake. <laughs> <laughs> that we're going to release shortly back to the wild. I just want to show you the nice colors first. And we got dog here, but dog's puppy. name is Puppy. Hey, Puppy. Dave and Sue live part-time in Samui, but wanted to get away from the crowds. So on this amazing piece of land, they built this, their home. They live a lifestyle that's inspiring to me. It's a combination of hard work, hard play, family, friends, and most of all, fun. Before we pulled out to catch our ferry, they wanted to take us to a spot just around the corner.
Gang Rack Night Market behind me here on Koh Samui. Oh, geez, whoa, almost hit a dog. Oh, yeah. Home at last. My 60 Seconds News Host jacket. All our crap, doesn't it feel good? to get home after a road trip, no matter where you call home, and this is where we call in home these days, you just go like this, 